Hey guys, Beth here. So I thought I would do another video today, like a twofer. And I'm so sorry, in my last video, that dog was barking so much and he is still barking or her, whatever it is. But I was looking through my makeup, enjoying it. And I'm, I wanna do another project pan, you guys. I, okay, this video might not go up in a while, but two years ago, I started this project pan called my man's pan maybe three years ago I did it I think I did it two years in a row and I didn't do it last year but I thought this year why not let's do it again I my husband's still buying me eyeshadow palettes which I don't need so let's do a project pan um, based off of stuff my husband bought me if you want to join in you guys are more than welcome to join in I like last two years ago when I did it I said like we could just you know things that have been gifted to you by other people is fine too it doesn't have to be like your significant other um it could be but it doesn't have to be um so if you guys want to join in um you can set any uses you want this year i'm doing it like a 10 pan though because i've always wanted to do a project 10 pan so it starts on february 14th and it's going to go through august 14th and yeah I just want to have fun with some of my stuff and stuff that has been gifted to me and get it out. And yeah, let's get into it right now. The first item, it's very dusty. It was on my shop, my bathtub and I use this in the bath. That's why it was there, but it's kind of dusty. So they are these Cracker Barrel roses my husband bought me. I am down to five. And I don't take baths that often. So when I'm gifted bath stuff, I kind of re-gift it sometimes. And I, it's rare that I go through bath items. But these are like these little roses. You could break the petals apart and throw them in the bathtub. And when I work out on the weekend, once in a while, I'll take a bath. That's when I take a bath. But I want to use up all of these. That's the goal for this. The next item is a hand sanitizer. I know it's so random, but some lady, I think she bought this at Ross, gave it to my husband. She gave him a bunch because he's a Star Wars fan and we've had it just kind of sitting in our, on our kitchen counter since COVID. So I thought, you know what? It hasn't gone bad. I mean, I, I don't think hand sanitizer goes bad. Like worst case, it'll evaporate in the bottle, but I'm going to use it up. I have one pocket back from Bath and Body Works and then I have this big guy. So I'm gonna try to use this up. I prefer hand sanitizer sprays above the gels. Um, I don't know why, I just prefer those a lot more. It's just more convenient, I guess, when I go shopping. But I'm gonna throw this in my purse and take it everywhere I go and hopefully I'll get through it in six months. The next item is the Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy perfume. Now, I sent my husband to the store. Well, I didn't send him. He went, but I hinted to him a lot and I told him the Fantasy Intense at Ross is $20 and it's the big bottle. Go get it. There's I was like there's only 3 left. I really want it. And he went to go get it and he came back with this one. And this is the Midnight Britney Spears Fantasy. Not the not the the pink bottle one you know so i ended up going back to ross and getting it for myself the pink one that i wanted but i'm gonna try to use this i'm gonna set a goal the goal i was thinking last night was 30 uses i do enjoy this one as well it's kind of like a sweet i feel like it's kind of like a grape scent yeah it kind of has like a grape scent or a berry scent to it it's really nice it's it's kind of like a blackberry grape kind of scent I think it's nice and I enjoy it. It takes me back to when I first met my husband, I don't know, 17 years ago. So yeah. And then Jessica Simpson Fancy is the next one. It's another perfume. And two years ago when I did this project, this was in the project as well. I liked this. My sister had it and then I told my husband I liked it and he went and bought me the wrong one. And then it, like, again, like at Marshall's or somewhere. And then he returned the other one. It was like the min the night one or something to this. And then he bought me this one. And this is just like a vanilla, like a really nice warm vanilla scent. And I think it has like amber, but it's all dusty and it's old. I've had it for quite a bit of years. I think I've had it since, I don't know, a long time. So 
I want to use it 30 times. That's going to be the goal for this. I think everything that's a goal usage, I put 30 times because I figure, you know, I only need to use it, I don't know, in six months. Six goes into 30, like five times a month. So that's not bad. Hopefully I can make that goal. Um, and then the next item is a matte liquid lipstick. This is the only thing that wasn't gifted, gifted to me by my husband. This one was gifted to me by Didi's Beauty and More, Didi. Um, this is the Love You First Matte Liquid Lipstick, and it's a mauve shade, and it's called Loved. It's in the shade Loved. I did look it up when she first gifted it to me, and the website didn't really have much makeup. It was like a very small, like a website with very little on it. Um, I am panning the lip liner in my partners in cream project pan I think and I have it on my lips right now but it's not this lipstick but I thought you know what since that's in a project put this in and then I can use them you know together and hopefully make some good progress on both of them but the goal for that one is 30 uses the next item is a color pop glossy lip stain in Tinkerbell and this has also been previously in a project that's why there's like a little piece of tape here um, I want to use it also 30 times. It's an, it's a pretty shade. Let me swatch it for you. It's very, it's kind of like a gel cream texture and it's a lip stain. So it's a glossy lip stain. And let me, sh let me share the other one with you. They're like both, I think very wearable, like right now. I kind of like the love you first a little bit more just because it's like a matte formula and it dries down. And it's a little bit deeper but this one's a little bit brighter i think it's perfect for spring and summer and then this one probably the rest of the year but that's why i really like this project too is that it's during the like spring and summer months so i like pulling in a project for spring and summer it's a color pop tinkerbell happy thoughts which is an eyeliner and this was also previously in a project that's why there's a sticker on it and it's kind of like a bronzy eyeliner with shimmer in it. And I really like it. You could kind of see the reflect of the little glitters in it. I think it's just a really pretty eyeliner. And my goal on this one is also 30. This was not, wait, this is Lost Girl. I am sorry. The Tinkerbell lip, lip gel, this one is happy thoughts he bought me the whole set of the tinkerbell so that's why this was in there and then the this is lost girl the eyeliner so that's this and i really did enjoy it when i was using it so i wanted to put it back in a project um this is the hocus pocus set he bought me both i want to say he bought me both hocus pocus set this is a cream gel liner as was this one except for this isn't a sharpening type of packaging or pencil and this one you twist up and it's like this eggplant purple it looks very pretty I'm not a big fan of purple but it's just like very creamy and then the stick is very thin so I feel like this would be easy to use but there is like quite a bit of product in this one and I did mark it on a piece of paper and I also have this one here is also quite a bit because it goes, I believe, to the cap. So when I marked it, I marked it from the cap, like the bottom, like all the way. So this has like quite a bit to get through. But I'm just going to keep going and see like how much progress I can make on both of these. I don't think I did a use goal, a usage goal. Let me see. Tinkerbell. Lost Girl, and then the the Hocus Pocus one is called Trick or Treat. So, no, I don't have any goals just to see how far I get on these. Um, and then the face products. Okay, so I brought in a blush, and it's from the Tinkerbell collection. It was also in a project before, and this is the blush. It's very deep. It's like almost bronzy, kind of orange color. I thought I could use this like in the summer when I get really tan. I do like to run and walk and stuff. So in the summer, I get a lot darker even than I am now, I think. So there is that. I want to hit pan on this one. That's the goal. And then here is 
I'm sorry, and I didn't say this is in Darling. And then the there's a highlighter, Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in Happy Thoughts. And that's what it looks like. It's very creamy still. I'm so excited. I'm so happy that these did not dry up at all. It's very creamy, very pretty. And I'm going to try to hit pan on this one as well. So I just want to get really good use out of the products that I love and that my husband spent money on. And yeah, that is why I'm doing this project. And I've always wanted to do a 10 pound. So if you'd like to join me, please do. And if you pan a lot faster than me, feel free to roll items into this project. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, or that's the same thing. Beth. Okay, so give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.